Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so sorry that I haven't been on like video camera for a while. Um, I've had a lot going on and just, yeah, just a lot going on in my life. And also I was recovering from my surgery. Um, I'll give you guys an update about that as well. But today I wanted to kind of show you guys my updated skin routine, skincare routine. I have changed my routine a whole lot. Um, there's some new products that I use. There's some old products that I still use. Um, and I just kind of want to give you guys an update on how I do my skincare routine now. And I do do it twice a day. Um, that's something that I've changed a lot. I used to only do it like maybe once a month or so. But lately, since I've been trying these new products, I've been doing it at least twice a day. Once in the morning and then once in the evening because I go to work in the morning. So I'll do all of that before I put on my makeup. And then when I come home in the evening, because I usually get off around like five-ish, um, and I take off all my makeup, I'll do my skincare routine all over again. My dogs are actually like, oh my God, you look scary. So... Yes, so right now I have some water, at least. And then, so the products I'm gonna use today is gonna be the Marcella Water um, All-in-One Rinse Off, and it's gonna be the cleanser. So this one is uh, um, like a pump one, and it, it you can put it all over your face, and it, basically just washes off all your makeup already so that way like when you go to use like say something like the little makeup pads and you want to use like the basic ones without having to cleanse your face and all that this just gets it off a lot quicker if i run out of my marcella water ones like these ones i mean then i use this a whole lot which you guys since i've started using this this is only my second bottle for this cleanser but i buy these quite often these usually typically last me like i don't know like maybe four four or five months um because you don't really need a lot to get your makeup off so without further ado let's jump right into it okay now that my face is all wet and i've got the cleanser on I'm gonna take my Carnier true glow brush and I just got this and it has um, it has two other brushes that come with it that you can change the head off of it if this one gets to be worn out um, so this I got from Walmart for like 16 18 bucks or so and it works really good for me I've seen different people say that they prefer different kind there's so many kinds out there but I'm telling you guys you don't have to spend like 50 to 100 bucks on the real little glow brushes you can get them at Walmart trust me they work the same they might not be top-notch top dollar type thing but it works because I have two of them um, so this is the first spin this is the second spin okay so I'm just gonna take it a little bit and dip it in the water a little bit and I'm gonna turn it on the first spin first and just get it all in there and then I will turn it on the third spin once I get it good and I'm just gonna take this and go all the way Um, if you're sensitive to the brush, you might not want to use it, or you might want to find a brush that's more gentle. This one is a little rough a little bit, and I can always change the brush, but it doesn't hurt me. Does that make sense? I know it's terrible, but... And I just do that until I feel like I got it all cleansed. Right now, I don't 
think I have any excess makeup on. But, you know, you never know. So that's that. And I'm just going to take it and dip it in the water a little bit. Just to get all that off. And then I'm going to take the corner of my little rag I got here. And I'm just going to pat off the excess that didn't come off. Right here, like in my T-zone is my problem. And especially now, since I live in Iowa, it's more humid here. And lately we've been having like humidity like up the yin yang. So it's pretty crazy. Okay, next I'm gonna use my Freeman Feeling Beautiful Anti-Stress Clay Mask. I've been using this for about a week now. I've been doing it um, twice a day. I think it says that you can use it as needed. Uh, let's see. It says apply mask to face and neck, avoiding contact with eyes. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes or until dry. Rinse with warm water. Use twice a week or as often as needed. So use it twice a week um i use it twice a day since i'm just starting to use it because you guys know that when you use a new product on your face your face takes a while to get used to it so i had a lot of like breakouts like right here when i first started using it and right here so now they're kind of clearing up but i also use the neutrogena anti um the on spot acne treatment so it like helps you get rid of your bumps like right away um this is the only product that i use of neutrogena every other product that neutrogena has makes me break out terribly but this one does not so other than that garnier is my go-to acne line um others may feel different or others may like Neutrogena, not like Garnier, but Garnier is perfect for me. So, after that, I'm going to take my little e.l.f. brush, my Beautifully Precise brush. Um, most people use this brush as a foundation. I use this as my clay mask brush because I don't really like this brush to use as my foundation. I did try it, and I didn't like it. So, you can use your brush for whatever you think you need to use it for. So I'm just going to put some on there like that. Then I'm just going to take it and make sure it doesn't fall on my shirt. And I'm just going to do just like that. And then you leave it on until it's dry. or for 15 minutes now even though that this brush is completely blue when you stick it in the water it will come off it doesn't stay on you guys are probably like you're crazy for using a a white brush tip for blue trust me I was scared about it too but it comes off don't get it too close to your eyes that's why it's best to apply in front of a mirror Okay, I'm just gonna grab a little bit more. And this is supposed to help with your pores, which I struggle with. My pores are always like, hey girl, what can we do to piss you off today? And it's by them existing.
I know there's other masks out there for pores, like the the black um, clay or charcoal or something like that. But let's be honest, I didn't want to sit there and peel something off my face that I knew that I wouldn't like because I'm a big baby and I'm sensitive to that. So I didn't want to like slowly peel it off because if I did, it wouldn't come off because I'd leave it on there because I'd be like, it hurts too bad. I don't want to take it off. No. So I didn't get that. I got one that doesn't, you don't have to peel up and you don't have to rip your skin off just to get it off your face. <laughs> I ain't about that life. And it's pain-free. So, I went with pain-free. So, we're going to let that sit on my face until it's dry. Or until I feel like it got my face really good. And then we'll move on to the next. I'll be right back. Okay, so now it's completely off. Just making sure. So after I do that, so next I'm going to put on my Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue. And I apply this almost every time before I do my makeup. Because like I said, I do my cleansing routine and then... I add this, and sometimes I just drown my face in it, depending on how dry my face is, but this stuff goes on my face every day, and like I said right now, with the humidity being like suffocating basically, it works really good. Then, I just take my Neutrogena On Spot Acne Treatment and I put it in places where I'm having the most breakout. Sometimes I do this step before the moisturizer. It just depends on one if I remember it or not. Then I give myself a little spritz. little refreshing and that was my Maybelline New York Studio Master Finish or Master Fix I mean so that's that the next I add my primer So right after I do my skincare routine, I apply my makeup. And that was wet and wild. Um, photo focus primer, the primer that I'm always using, you know? And since, like I said about the heat, um, during the springtime and summertime, I change foundations. Um, the L'Oreal, I still use, but like randomly. Um, this one's more like my winter and fall foundation. And then this one, I usually do Fit Me or Revlon, but this time I decided to change because I use the concealer to this, so I like it. Um, is the Milani. Um, concealer plus perfect two-in-one foundation and concealer um, so this is it's medium to full coverage lightweight oil free long wearing water resistant and sweat proof now let me tell you I can cry with this on not that I've been crying but 
I can cry with this on, I can sweat with this on, and my makeup does not blotch away or anything like that. Like it, it works. So because I have such bad skin tone right now, um, I have been applying concealer under my foundation. So what I do is basically just cover up all these little imperfection marks I got going on here. Just like that. Some might not suggest do this, but for me, it's a must. Because my skin is so even, or uneven. And so when I put this on and my foundation covers it, it looks like it's perfect. So I spritz some of that on my hand. Then, and this is a pump spray for, or not spray, but a pump for foundation. And then I just take my Morphe brush Okay, so that's that for foundation. Now for concealer, I'm gonna go to my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Deep. Now I don't use Tarte very often because I'm running out, as I've said before. And I haven't been able Go and restock. So because that's like that, I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the concealer that I did before. And this one is in tan. Or no, this one's in hazelnut. Oh, wrong one. I'm going to take my beauty blender. And I'm just going to blend that all in. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. Um, and that concealer I used was the Maybelline concealer. And I'm just going to take that under my eyes. Over my chin. Over my other eye. I don't know why she's barking. She was outside like 20 minutes ago. take my brush and I'm going to take my L'Oreal powder and I'm just going to set my face with it. Well, then I'm going to take my Fitney Beauty in Expresso contour stick.
that I'm gonna take Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette with my beautifully precise brush and I'm just gonna blend this contour out Okay, and then to make a good fine line. Sorry, my neighbor is just like staring at his truck. I'm like, what are you doing over there, dude? Or he could be staring at me, I don't know. It's creepy though. I don't know what he's doing, y'all. I'm gonna take my beautifully precise, um, like, spoolie brush. Well, not a spoolie, but it's got longer bristles. And I'm gonna add a little bit of blush. This won't show up on me. I can see it, but you probably can't. It's a very light blush. Um, let's see, I can try using this one. This one is Blush Dude Subto Duo. And it's in a plum. Well, no. That's the Spanish word for it. It's perfect pink. I'm going to add a little highlight here. This is me, Cosmetics Makeup Essentials. Okay, and then next I'm gonna take that and wash or wipe away that powder. Then I'm gonna go back over it with my brush just to make sure no harsh lines were left. Then I'm gonna take my palette from the Jaclyn Hill book collection um, and I'm gonna use Armed and Gorgeous palette today. Oops. Um, I use Armed and Gorgeous a lot just because I like the browns in it and stuff. So today I'm gonna go in with 
um, Smooth Criminal and uh, Prowl. So there's Smooth Criminal and this is Prowl. So I'm just going to take that in my crease up here and create a line going straight across. And yes, I know it's a darker color and you don't want that there. But you will see in the end what I'm talking about. So. I'm going to do it to both sides. Then I'm going to take my blending brush, that looks like that, and I'm going to take Secure right there, and I'm just going to dip into that, like that, and then I'm going to dip into this color a little bit, and that one is Agent. And I'm going to take that, and I'm going to go right above where I just put that brown, and I'm going to blend those browns out. Sorry, my nose gets itchy sometimes when I'm, uh, okay. So, and then I'm going to go back in with Smooth Criminal. And I'm just going to go back over it a little bit heavier. Take my blending brush again and make sure all of that is blended out. Then I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to use VIP and it's this white kind of sparkly glitter, um, sorry I have hair on me, um, glitter eyeshadow and I'm going to take that. And put it right here. I'm just going to go all over that lid. Like, all over.
then for lips i'm gonna do uh um rico in the stila brand looks like this and i'm just gonna take that There's for the lips. Now, hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, there is emergency services in my town, and when I heard the sirens, I was like, "What the heck?" Because we don't really hear them, we don't see them, so for them to come through the town was kind of like. Okay, and it stopped right over here near my house. So I was just checking to see if it was somebody that I knew who it was, but it didn't look like anybody I knew. So I didn't go out there and get in the middle or anything like that. I just stayed in my house. So anyways, let's get back into it. So previously I applied my lipstick and that was Rico in Stila. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera sorry so i guess i forgot to come back on camera after um doing my eyebrows because i totally sat here and thought i was recording and wasn't so you guys just missed that whole little spiel. But you know what? Because okay, I'm not going to re-record it. Because that was a lot. <laughs> so for what you didn't see, I applied mascara. I applied this first. Then this. Which this one is the Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara. Then the e.l.f mascara the three in one but before i did that step i applied wet and wild soft eyeliner um i was telling you that i use different eyeliners all the time um i can use pencil so these two are pencil i can use the marker which looks like that i can use liquid which looks like that and I can use gel which looks like that okay um so on top right here is this and then my water line is this um, and I use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil for my eyebrows. Um, I can also use the, uh, which one is this one? I think this one's Maybelline as well. No, it might be L'Oreal. I don't remember because it's washed away, but, um, I use this brow pencil as well in Cool Dark brown so it looks like that the dark brown really works on my brows so it does um so that is what i applied um and next i'm going to go back over my face with my highlight and for that i'm gonna obviously no i'm gonna use becca today yeah i'm gonna use becca so i have Becca highlight in Moonstone and it looks like that so it's kind of of a um, light light gold and I don't use it very often So now that I went over it, 
with that. Boom. I'm going to go back in with Me Cosmetics and I'm going to apply the gold highlight over it because I prefer to be highlighted with gold. I don't know, it just makes more sense to me. Okay. Then to just make sure everything is set and good looking and fierce and all of that good stuff, I'm just gonna go back in with Anastasia again and make sure that contour is holding up. And once that is holding up, I will spray myself. Boom, 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 boom. And voila. Ooh, look at that highlight, girl. Oh, 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 oh. This is just a reflection, so that is nothing. That does not look like that is on my face the way that it's looking, but this is definitely the best. Like, look at that. I do have a lot of texture right there. So this was my updated skincare routine and also a new fresh face look. And so I used the Jaclyn Hill bulk collection um, in Armed and Gorgeous for my eyeshadow. Then for my lips, I used Stila Enrico. For my brows, I used the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Um, I have the angled one in number five, and my foundation is Milani, and this one is in Chestnut, and then my eyeliner, I used Wet n Wild and NYX, and then my mascara, I used Elf and Wet n Wild, and then highlight is Me Cosmetics Brush and Becca. And thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And if you want certain type of videos, then let me know and I can try to get them out there for you. Thank you. Bye.